Boomer Ranger Ron. These are four more, not the same ones I saw down the street. Actually, there's five there, five or six. Look at the size of this big guy out front. He's definitely a big old bruiser buck. One, two, three, four, five, at least five, possibly six, all coming out of the same spot where I thought I spooked one earlier and she refused to come out because the wind was blowing right at them. One, two, three, there's at least six. One, two, three, four, five. Two more, three more. Wow. So we're filming again. That's a total of six. Yeah, all the way up the street. Yep, yeah, stop and eat the green grass there. Yeah, that would be a Texas heart shot, folks. No, we never take a shot here in our front porch. Green Farms Road. One, two, three. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's at least, there's at least a dozen deer. Let's count them again. One, two, three. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, wow, just amazing. Westport, Connecticut has not allowed hunting. In 20 or 30 years now. It's the only town in Connecticut that actually banned all, for all hunting. And you can see these are multi generational deer birds. Let's count them again one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so I'm still only coming up with ten, but uh, that's a real big herd to see in the springtime. You know that? It's just simply amazing. Multi-million dollar neighborhoods. Just absolutely amazing. Good morning, Boomers. Boomer Ranger Ron here and uh, out for my morning hike. Just trying to get an idea what we might hunt next year. The Revolutionary Cemetery is down in that direction. You saw that in one of my videos. Something just to bring to your attention when you're planning when you're planning an urban suburban hunt and you're out scouting this is a sure indication that there's a deer problem when every tree that they've planted is having trouble growing they put a special base at the bottom and then they build an eight foot deer fence uh that's a sure indication there's too many deer around right so this is the kind of spot you might want to go see if you can find somebody to give you permission to hunt with a bow during the archery season. And uh, if you're in a zone where they allow you to bait, it's a good place to hunt. Good luck. Bye. Check out the deer damage on this evergreen. They hit that during the winter. So if you guys would like to be successful next fall, like these two guys, get out there and scout. Don't pass up this turkey season. Get out in the woods. Check your property. Knock on a few doors. See if you can access some private land for next season as well. Start planning now if you want to be successful next season. Good luck. Good hunting. This guy, not as fat as some of the others we got out there, John. But he's got a lot of meat on him. We'll find out. <clears throat> Colder. Somebody put some ice packs in. You 
Ron put ice in it. I know. This is how the boys handle a deer skinner. Hang her up, start pulling. It gets Go hard. Ahead, Dave, it's going to get harder when you get close to the neck. Okay. Let me get around this way. 